the Abyssinian Mass takes the form of a typical Baptist church service. And it, it deals with the relationship of that typical service to the traditional Mass, the, the, the Kyrie and the Credo and all the kind of, and, and, and the Masses that, that, that Mozart wrote and, and uh, Palestrina and the kind of original Masses of Western music. And it brings all of these traditions together. Um, the Mass celebrates the intersection of jazz and church music. Many of the greatest jazz musicians today come out of the church because the church is one of the last places that retains the actual feeling of the blues and sound and also the call and response rituals, this central child music. I think it's important to bring the music to the people. Once we did a tour of a, a piece that I wrote for Jazz at Lincoln Center 20, 20 something years ago called In This House on This Morning. And we played in churches all over the country and it, it, was, it was extremely well received and we ate good. We did more good eating on that tour than we've ever done. But I think that the, the, the church rocks and rolls and lifts a certain way. Also with this piece, we did it in the Abyssinian. It was a very successful performance. Uh, the people recognized the form and all of the different things that we have in the music. So um, I think it's very important. And also we have a sponsor, Mr. David Stewart, Afro-American sponsor, the first time anything like that has ever happened, where he supported a, a tour like this. And um, he felt that the message was important to, to get across. And we think so also in this time, it's, uh, it's very important because the music is, is very uplifting. So I think the, the principal uh, uh, fact of the Abyssinian Mass, the feeling that we want you to come away with is, is just uplift through the way that we all come together. It was in Augusta, Georgia, outside the Imperial Theater, actually for the performance in this house on this morning. So this uh, uh, union of us coming together is actually full circle. And even furthermore, that one of the stops in our trip will be uh, Augusta, Georgia. So. This is amazing for me that I'm getting an opportunity to actually work with, with uh, Wynton Marsalis on something that's similar to In This House on This Morning, but even more expansive because we have 70 singers traveling with us as well. The choir brings the fire. The choir brings the spirit. The choir brings the, 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 the truth to it. And when I say the truth, uh, the, the way that uh, they co-sign when the, the trumpet section is playing or when the piano or the, or the bass uh, the bass instrument has a solo. It makes us all feel like we're right in church and we're just uh, transcend, transcendently, you know, whisked away into a real church service. And so all of us begin really to take on the spirit of the character of each individual movement. Wow. We have professional Broadway singers. We have professional opera singers from Metropolitan Opera. There are students from Juilliard and other great conservatories. There are students from, from my alma mater, uh, Howard University, from Morgan State, where Mr. Marcel has done a lot of work with their choir. We have gospel singers. We have, we have people that sing all genres and styles of music. We have people, I think the youngest singer is 20 years old, who will be turning 21 in a few, in a few days before we go on tour. Then one of the older singers is, is in their, uh, their late 70s. So we have a very, uh, it's, a real, uh, it's a great group because it'll give a real experience. It's not just only people that are very educated and lofty in their mindset of how they execute a sound, but it's also to just come raw and naturally to the music with just what they have inside and just to express that. I think they will appreciate hearing what they're used to and what they've experienced in another context. Um, it's like when you see somebody in your family do something you didn't know they would do. You go to a, a recital or something and they play, or you go to see them speak and they speak in a certain way and you say, man, I didn't know you could do that. Or I, Then you start to understand yourself in another way because we also come from that tradition. We played jazz, we played lots of music, but there's a, there's a, a brotherhood, like like in the, in the prayer, there's, there's the foundation of the mass. Everyone has a place in the house of God. So it gives, it's gonna give everyone who comes a chance to experience the things that they have already experienced with another intensity and feeling and flavor. And it's gonna give us the chance to do that. We already have had the opportunity to come together with 70 people singing, like kind of, there's so much emotion in the human voice and the voice is more, more expressive than instruments. Instruments imitate the voice. So, and you're also gonna hear us kind of compete with each other, like in a, in, a, in, a good, in a good way. Like we wanna let them know and they want to let us know. Right. So we're gonna be seeing. <laughs> and we hope that the audience tries to compete with us to let us all know. You know, we up in here to have a good time yes. and, and transform ourselves and make something happen. Many times, and I'm speaking from a person that grew up in church, being a church musician, uh, we can be so inundated with the things we do in church that we stay in the four walls as far as uh, what we listen to. And I think it's really good that the lines of uh, demarcation and separation where, you know, some church musicians don't want to expand their listening 
to listen to other genres. This is going to be a great avenue. This is like going to open the floodgates wide open uh, because we're bringing a classical musician, uh, we're bringing a, a jazz musician, a composer who's used those elements. Uh, even even the tradition of of great uh, with the African American church, one of the main things is that uh, the HBCU college choirs, that tradition of singing the spiritual, all of that is included in the mass. So I think that the church people should come out, the church goers should come out, the church musicians should come out because they'll see how the composer has integrally placed all of these genres together. And then they'll also have an understanding to how they relate. Why people say jazz and gospel both come from the blues. Mm -hmm. I would say that families should come together because uh, the mass also provides the listener as well as we the performers uh, with the notion of being unified. 